What's up, y'all? We are finished the 570 Husky up. Now we're going to start a 660. Uh, this is one. <clears throat> this is one of the saws I bought off my neighbor that I built for him. And not too long after he. I built these saws for him. He he hurt his arm, and he can't he can't run them no more. The bigger saws. So I bought them off of him. They are extremely low hour. I mean, they're everything but brand new. Now this six sixty is bone stock. It's just bolted together kit build. And we're gonna pull it apart, port it, and. uh Somebody wants it, so we got to get her done. I'm going to strip her down here and go take a look at it. But, you know, I know this saw probably ain't got five tanks of gas through it. That's no joke. You know, 660s are usually a special occasion kind of saw. So yeah. Like I say, this is a bone stock build. Parts kit. I mean, even the... I don't even like them filters. I think they're garbage. We won't be putting that back on. This thing, trash. Never use those anymore. I got me a new table here sitting on. It's a stainless steel table on wheels with shelves under it. That's what I needed. I got a G111 over there that's got a leaking fuel tank on it. I gotta put a new tank on it. I have never seen one of them leak on the 200s. That one sure is. He uses red armor. You can see the red armor right in the right in the gap where the, the transparent part of the tank is molded to the rest of the tank. Leaking right there in the seam. I'm going to go through this carburetor just to make sure there's nothing wrong. But I fired it up and ran it. it it ran fine.
Okay. Always got to be dropping bolts. And that's where it went. There it is. The only thing, this table is a little smaller. But I will make do. Because it's nice. Tell she wasn't hurt. She's running Richard and Dickens. He run 32 to 1 in it, just like I always run in mine. <laughs> and there's another one. change this table up you kind of messy Woo. that one's got a dual port ski out the front Little shotgun, double barrel shotgun barrel. Yeah, he's a definitely runner rich. Oh, it's a baffle in it, but it's bored out. Let me get in there and cut that out. I don't think it really has to be cut out, but oh yeah. Still see the machine marks in the exhaust port don't have a drop of carbon in it. Cylinder looks brand new.
bolts don't want to come out. That gasket, I can tell you that. Well, that's some tough stuff right there, boy. May have to take a piston off. See, she's never been touched. She bone stock. Looks perfect down in there. Well, that's the 660 tear down. Well, I'll go ahead and take this. Out now. I see. I mean, I know this saw. I know it's got no time on it. Cylinder looks brand new. I mean, <laughs> if you could see the see the hash marks on it still. The cross hatching. Yeah. All right. That take its clutch cover off or recoil off. All right, y'all. We're going to shut her down. Later.